WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very warm Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 4 p.m. update, and we had a rally day. All the U.S. indices that we track, all the sectors inside the S&P 500 closing higher. Dow up by 484 points, S&P 62, NASDAQ 100, 239, Russell 6, semis 97, trendies up 208. Gold right now, trading up 1060, out at 2535, silver's up 49 pennies, lights recouped up 91 cents, the uh, natural gas is down 13 pennies, 30 year treasury basically flat, up six ticks, print out at 126.02. Let's figure out what all that means by, well, here, first thing. First things first, you got the spot fix that closed below. Uh, it had a one-day rate of change of minus 12.73%. We get that uh, rate of change below minus 10%. We put a green arrow on the uh, bar. That's what I'll do next. And that is a the reason for that is that typically is an initiation move to higher prices out there. So at the uh, – oh, you're seeing the wrong screen. Wow, that's weird. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. That was called a Stevie brain fart out here. So here you've got the chart. You've got the spot VIX that we're taking a look at. Uh, the top portion of the S&P, the uh, center portion of the spot VIX, we're trading above the 50-day. But below that is the one-day rate of change. And what I note on these charts here, or this chart, is uh, movements where we have one-day rate of change above plus 10%. That was on Friday. That signaled that we should receive a rally. We got that rally today. But now because we have that less than minus 10% out there, that says we should see a further move higher. We should see a continuation move. And I would say that would be between tomorrow and perhaps the next couple of days out there. Um, if we take a look at the um – Let's take a look at the, what I use here for my morning market update. If you take a look at the ES Mini out here, resistance is going to be at the 55.16 level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. We're looking for the spot VIX to pull back to its 50-day exponential moving average. That would be at 17.36. The NQ found support where it had broken out from in its uh, first leg to the upside. That was at 18.383. A further move higher might find resistance at the 19.326 level. U.S. dollar index has a TD9 uh, count bottom. Uh, price trading inside a new profile. Your resistance level here is 101.85. Support at 100.92. Gold, just a sideways consolidation move with inside its profile. The same is to be said. And it's a sideways move in essence with regard to silver. Uh, if we take a look at Lights Recruit, it needs a bullish reversal candle to form a buy the D point pattern. And with the end, uh, natural gas closing below profile support, odds favor that it goes and it targets the swing point from August 28th. Folks, uh, have a uh, wonderful evening out there. Uh, tune in tomorrow morning as we begin our programming at 9 a.m. My show, The Trader's Edge, starts at 11. Have a marvelous Monday and take care.